Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and all around. <laughs> Thanks for joining me here. Hey, got kind of a personal story about a guy named Ted and some weird happenings. Hey, but before we get on to that, hey, uh, hit that like button if you would, please. Thanks, I appreciate that. Hey, and maybe share if you get a chance. And uh, maybe you can bring on a few more subscribers for me if you would, please. Last count was 52. Got over 500 watch hours, though. Doing good, thank you, all of you. Trippin' Ted. Started out trippin' with Ted. This guy had met through a few other people. We took a taxi to a girlfriend's trailer. There was me, Ted, his girlfriend, and one other underage chubby gal. Quickly, that situation became weird. Real fucking weird. His girlfriend, or him and his girlfriend, were going off to the back. I don't think we were out there an hour. An hour and him and his girlfriend started walking off to the back of the trailer, leaving me with this stranger, chubby little gal, underage. I started to object a little bit and he came back out and that chubby chubby gal kept uttering this guy's name that um he and and the guy that brought me there had had a fight a do out drag out fucking fight of course the guy's about that much smaller than me and uh she kept uttering his name like it was some kind of an echo to stir on my friend against me. It was fucking weird, man. And I kept saying, what the fuck is going on here? I don't want to be with this fucking ugly jail bait. Even if she wasn't ugly, she was underage, kids. I wasn't going there. Well, after a few minutes, he realized, let's step outside and take it, take it with us. So, about, about the time of year I am right now, fall's just starting, and the temperatures had dropped at night, so we stepped outside, and that fresh hair must have got a fucking whip on him or something. And, uh, he, he, he got his shit together, and he was like, yeah, man, I, oh, I understand, okay, right, 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 right. And, um, he left. He didn't stick around. He just walked away. And we were in that trailer park, basically. I don't know what the fuck he went. So I looked at his girlfriend and I said, you're taking me home. And she agreed. Well, yeah, I wrote a little bit down. And as we were leaving, I saw all kinds of state police lights. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I looked. And they got this motherfucker up against the car putting cuffs on him. He must have been freaking out on them, too. And she drove me home. <laughs> that was crazy. Crazy fucking times. 
there could have been some serious freaking charges. Those kind of that kind of shit doesn't have any kind of statutory limit, kids. Gotta be careful of that. I make sure they got crow's feet at my age. <laughs> I have I dodged a great big a great big. Oh my God! There. Thank God. I don't know what happened to him. He got out of the charges. They didn't charge him with shit. I'll tell you about that guy one day. Probably being the meth addict I worked with once. Anyway. Hey. Just, just watch who you party with. And what they lead you into. It could change the rest of your life for the rest of your life. Alright guys and gals peace out.